First barrow for the trip. video I'm gonna target uh, try to catch the million dollar barra so that anyone that doesn't know um, up here in the Northern Territory Australia um, they hold a fishing competition every year um, they tag a heap of barramundi fish um, I'm not sure the numbers there's a, there's a lot um, that are tagged that are worth ten thousand dollars and there's two I believe worth a million dollars so you just have to register online um, if you catch it with the tag, you take it in, you call them, yeah, and there's a chance that there's a lot of people have won the $10,000 one. And last year, last day of competition, a young bloke down in Catherine uh, won the million dollar one. So, yeah, I'm going to go and try and chase it. They've started another comp this year. Um, so I'm going to head down uh, in the Daly River region, which is a couple of hours southwest of Darwin. I'll see if I can get myself a million dollar barra. Let's go. The buffalo we shot a couple of months back, he's still here. And there's his horns. Oh, one of them's gone, is it? Yeah, one of the horns is gone. Oh, there it is. Beauty. I've got this mate called uh, Ginjal. We call him uh, Ginjal the Shadow Lurker because at work, when the rest of us are working, he's always lurking up in the shadows, not doing much. Real lazy he is, Ginjal. Um, yeah, so Ginjal, he'd love it down here. He loves to go shooting. He's not a real good shot though, big Ginjal. I don't think he'd get much. He wouldn't be able to hit a barn door with a fistful of rocks, old Ginjal. But if he plays his cards right, yeah, I'm talking to you, Ginjal. Uh, I might bring him down here one day. Old Ginjal, the shadow lurker. I've made it back here um, this is gonna be my home for the next two or three nights I'm gonna go and chase that barra the last time we were here we got a heap of barra up here we didn't we mainly come out to get buffalo and we had a bit of a fish and yeah we caught a lot so I'm gonna dedicate the next couple of days to, to chasing the elusive million dollar barra I got the cherubin pots here so I'll chuck them in yeah one thing that strikes me about this place is the bird life the birds are just the noise is just magic. It makes me feel alive being in places like this. The wet season's upon us. The, the uh, build-ups here, it's been raining. I don't know what the humidity is, but it's, yeah, it's pretty high. So Last time I was here, I got plenty of fish. So Let's get up there and see if we can get some more. Hopefully that, that bloody million dollar barra. I got my favorite lure here, but it's been the best barramundi um, lure I've ever used. Oh yeah, so I think it's a grunter, black brim maybe. Yeah, a little black brim, sooty grunter. Oh 
Oi. That's a bit of black bread. Whoa. That's a beauty, that fella. That there is a nice sooty grunter, big fat grunter. I'll definitely keep him. Look at this. Freshwater crocodile. Crystal clear water. He'll take off and see if we can get him. Really shallow water. So we should get to see him here. There he is. He'll take off the next second. There he goes. Not a big sorty. Hit like a freight train. Another black rim. Not one barry yet. Oh, that was lucky. I thought he's gonna snag me. Oh, has he snagged me? That's a good rim. Look at that fella. Oh. <clears throat> I wish this was called the million dollar black brim. I'd be in with a red hot chance. That's all I've caught is black brim. Not one barry yet. But um, yeah, still plenty of daylight, so I'll, I'll keep searching. Got a barra, finally got a, oh no I haven't. It's a big black brim. The barra hit me over there, then this black brim took me. That's a beauty of a black brim. Jeez. Look at the size I am for a black rim. Ho ho ho! Hey, that's one of the better black rims I've ever caught. He's huge. Um, barra just hit me. I just can't get a barra. What's the old saying? You can throw a lure at a barra, but you can't make it bite. I think that's how it goes anyway. Mate, that's one of the more solid black brims I've ever caught. That's a ripper. There you go, mate. Is he going? Yep, he's off. Barra! Oh, he spat me. Damn it. Well, I'm just fishing off this log here. I look down and there's a, I don't know what it'll be, about a metre and a half freshie. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, 
Oh, there's little fellas. I don't want to fail up this fella. I have. Sometimes when the barrow don't want to bite, they just will not bite. So I keep persevering here. A million dollar barrow is still there somewhere. Here comes the rain. It's usually good fishing in the rain, but I hope there's not too much. Oh, look at all the black in there. Everywhere. Not a bad one either. Yeah, finally a barra. Only a little one, but it's a barra. Look at that guy. We got a tag? Any tags? No tag. Nice little fish though. I think the tag's here, little orange tag. If you catch it with a tag, but that's got hasn't got one. Bummer. First barrow for the trip. It's got no tag, but that's alright, at least I got one. Look at the depth of the water I caught it in. It's only a foot deep. It's crazy. Just make sure that hasn't got that tag before I I know it hasn't, but I'll just check again. Yeah, no tag. We'll let this fella go. There you go, mate. He's off. Go tell the tag one to come here. Wow, if, um, I'm still catching black brim. I've stopped filming them. I'm catching too many, which is a good problem to have. The other thing I'm getting too many of is these mozzies. They're, um, they're next level. They're nearly carrying me away. I don't know how I'm going to go tonight. After that bit of rain, they've just come out in droves. Uh, I'll have to get a smoky fire going, I think. Blackbird there. Oh, he's another beauty. All right, so that was a couple of hours fishing. Um, didn't get the elusive million dollar barra, but we got a I got a heap of black bream, too many. Landed that one um, barramundi, so I'm gonna get this uh, fire going now and get the camp set up. My biggest drama tonight is gonna be keeping these mosquitoes away, so I'll get everything set up. I might get down here for a quick tub in the river and um, relax near the fire and have a beer. I'll actually keep the guts out of it too and put it in those uh, cherubin pots. That should get a bit of action in those pots. Jerbin. Don't 
day two of this trip. I've uh, got the billy boiling, oh it's boiled. Got a cup of coffee going, some eggs and bacon in the fry pan. Bit of chilli stag there in the can, heating up in the coals. Love that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll have a bit of a feed. Today I'm going to head downstream. Yesterday I went upstream. So I'll go down and see if I can find this million dollar barra downstream. I got the billy boiling there. Um, yesterday when I got these horns, they're a bit on the nose. They stink a little bit. So what I might do is fill them up with some um, boiling water, put some dishwashing liquid in there, try and kill the bacteria and get rid of that smell. First fish of day two, another black rim. You'd never go hungry here. There's more black rim in this river than you could poke a stick at. Wish there was that many barra. I've just seen another croc. It's in here. Here's this croc, I found him. He's just under the water here, hugging the bank. So unreal to be able to do that. That species of crocodile, if any, anyone's wondering, it's um, they're not dangerous. They're called the freshwater crocodile or the Johnson River crocodile, Johnnies, people like to call them. Yeah, they they got sharp teeth and can bite you, but they won't actually attack you for no reason like the saltwater crocodile. They mainly just eat fish really fast, they have really needle sharp teeth yeah beautiful croc, they only get maximum about 3 meters about 8 eight feet I believe so that guy there was only a meter and a half or something alright we'll head down here further oh, that's a big black rim it's a nice black rim Whoa. There you go. Alright, I've got a big barrier here. Oh. oh no, he's taking me down on the snags. I've got to get him out of them snags. Oh, he's a good size too. Oh, I can see him. He's just there on a log, I've got to wait for him to swim off. I'm going to try and get him with this stick. That's a good barrow, man. Whew.
Look at that big guy. He hasn't got the tag, but at least we got one. He's heavy too. I even got my lure back. Had to cut it off. So I'll just have to put a new um, leader on. Oh, what a nightmare that was. I lost a boot down in the mud. Look at that big girl. It's a Kraken Barra. Uh, 71 centimetres. 71, that's not too bad. so refreshing give you a, it's good to get a little bit of a reprieve from this stinking heat it's another freshwater crocodile here I can see three barramundi side by side over here. Uh, hey, what's that? Ah, uh, oh, black brim. Damn it, I thought it was a barramundi. Uh, Cracking brim. That a bush apple. Hmm. she comes another afternoon shower I hope it um, doesn't last too long the old fire's looking pretty sad at the moment
shit. We got worse on the right. They come out of nowhere. There was a quick storm. They went and now, now there's another one of trees just fell over right next to me camp. All my stuff flying everywhere. Ah oh, shit, I really don't want one of these trees to fall on my car or me. Another tree's fallen over, over here, and here. This one just missed me. I'll just wait in the tent here for now. Um, the wind sounds like it's dying off, there's still... <coughs> A lot of thunder, still raining. Um, there's not much else I can do. I'm just gonna hope none of those trees fall on me or the car. Well, I survived the night. Um, a few trees and stuff blew down around me. It was a little bit hairy there for a bit, but it didn't last that long. So um, I'm gonna have this coffee, cook a bit of bacon and eggs up. I'll pack this camp up. I'm like 10 metres from him. I've got a big ant's nest behind me, and then the car behind that. If and when he charges. He doesn't look real happy that I'm here though. Very quick, I'll have to be careful here. They're really quick. Look at the size of them horns. Well, that's it for this trip. Um, I came in search of the million dollar barra. Um, he's still out there, he's still safe, well, from me anyway. So, um, <clears throat> anyone that's chased him, good luck. I hope you get him. And, uh, yeah, anyone that uh, thanks, thanks to everybody that watched this, uh, subscribes, comments, shares, and all of the above, appreciate it a lot. And, um, We'll see you on the next one. Hooroo.